Hello guys and welcome to the Catnip Studios. In this video I am going to be teaching you how to print mouse mats and courses because the same technique can be applied to courses as well using the sublimation method. So let's just get straight into it. To print using the sublimation method, there is a few things that you'll need. You'll need a printer with sublimation inks installed into it. We have actually converted an Epson 7750. Now, this is not recommended because it does actually void your warranty with Epson. So you have to use that at your own discretion. Prior to that, we actually used to get these little chipped cartridges and inject the sublimation ink. I wouldn't recommend that way anymore with the new Eco tank makes it much easier to just put the sublimation inks into it but if you don't want to run the risk of voiding any warranty and potentially damaging a printer you can also buy specialist sublimation printers that are on the market as well like sawgrass you'll also need specialist sublimation paper this technique does not work with normal paper you will also need some form of heat press and finally you'll need some sort of sublimation blank it's very very easy to find multiple different sublimation blanks online these are blanks which have a special coating on to take the sublimation ink and paper so let's run through a quick checklist so you don't forget anything you'll need a sublimation printer sublimation ink sublimation paper a heat press and sublimation blanks last but not least you'll need some heat resistant tape if you'd like to download this free checklist I have left a blog post at catnip.com now you know what you need let's get into how to print it it is a a relatively simple process when it comes to printing your own mouse mats and courses but obviously you'll need a design and don't forget that you have to actually flip the design horizontally so that it's mirrored because when it's going to be pressed onto the paper it is going to be transferred on. I illustrate all my designs and I actually use a software called Procreate on my iPad or my iPad mini and I also use Photoshop as my primary design software but you can use whatever design software that that you feel suitable for you. If you're not illustrating your own items, make sure that you have a commercial license, particularly if you're selling your mouse mats or your coasters, to be able to use these for commercial use. So now you've got your designs, now it's time to print. Once you have a design in mind, make sure you set your print up on whatever software you're using to the correct dimensions of your sublimation blank like mouse mat or coasters. I've flipped my design and now it's ready to print. I use premium semi-gloss settings on my printer. So our design is printed out. We have flipped our design and for this one we are going to be printing on our heart mouse mat blanks and we actually have a very faint template line which I created in Photoshop to match our blanks but you don't have to do this if you feel like you can align your own mouse mats up but this just helps us give us a guide so we can get it nice and square on the mouse mat so let's print it. So we are going to be using our auto heat press that was actually gifted to us. I will leave an affiliate link if you guys want to check out this heat press. It is from HT runt i think it's called runt and we also used to use this simple clamshell heat press from uk press i'll put our heat settings on screen but be warned every heat press every printer every paper will have a different heat setting even though i'll put up our timings on screen for this auto heat press and our normal heat press just be aware that it can be different for different heat presses and different printers and paper that you're using we went through a very very long period of of experimentation to get our mouse mats just right. We're gonna let this build up to the correct heat and we're gonna go grab our blank and we're gonna go position it in place. We have a bunch of blanks already on the shelves. I'm gonna be using a heart shaped blank for this one for my mouse mat. I'm gonna now place my mouse mat face down onto my print and position it in place so it's in the right spot and it's positioned all central, as simple as that. And we are going to get our heat resistant tape. You have to get heat resistant tape that is for heat presses because if you use normal cellar tape, you run the risk of it melting onto your design and ruining your heat press. And I'm just gonna take a couple of pieces of tape and I'm just gonna secure my mouse mat into place. I am then going to just flip this around and hold the two pieces just so that it's ready to go in the heat press. When I flip this around, I make sure the design has not moved and you have to just be really, really careful so that it doesn't displace your design. Our heat press is ready. So we're gonna lay 
our mouse mat on our heat press and I'm just going to slide this in and this auto heat press goes down automatically or you would just press down on your clamshell. So I'm just going to slide this in and it should go down. It should go down. Hello. Why isn't it doing it? So the auto was turned off. So now my time is just counting down. We'll wait until that's finished and then we'll take the mouse mat out the heat press and it should be all done. There we go, our mouse mat is complete. Now we just slide this out, ta-da! And we can just peel the top of this mouse mat and we should have our mouse mat all nicely printed, ta-da! One tip I will give though is if you don't want to damage your heat press, we do put a little bit of cotton or a bit of heat resistant fabric underneath the mouse mats or the prints because we add bleed to our mouse mat to make sure it goes right over the edge of the design. As you can see, sometimes the ink can transfer across. So we just have this as a little buffer so it do doesn't damage any of our pads. As you can see, we actually have damaged some of our pads because we forgot to put this down. But it's just in case you don't want any ink transferring onto the pads of your heat presses and then ruining any other designs that perhaps are not sublimation. As simple as that, you have a mouse mat and the same exact technique applies for coasters, but the timing may be slightly different for coasters. So that is basically it. That is how you print mouse mats and coasters. I hope you found this helpful. If you also want to learn how to make mugs, I've also went into a full tutorial on my channel of how to print and press mugs using the sublimation method as well. So if you wanna go check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. If if you found it helpful please don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel we do tutorials and we do small business vlogs where we document our small business journey every single week i'll see you in the next one all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye